Australians have always been great football lovers, with almost all codes enjoying popularity in some part of the Commonwealth. Rugby league is enjoyed by a large following in the eastern states, its chief features being fast passing movements and scrums for the forwards. Soccer, England's national game, is played in many states of the Commonwealth and attracts overseas teams in competition with our own best. In soccer, players must not handle the ball, clever footwork and headwork being features of this game. Though not played here normally, American gridiron attracted large crowds when visiting service teams staged a match during the war. Through lovers of sport, Australians appreciated the finer points of the American national game, which was presented with all its embarrassment. Rugby Union also enjoys a large following, with regular interstate and international matches. Here, the New Zealand All Blacks team is seen attacking the Australian lines in a fast passing movement. Goal kicking calls for great accuracy. Apart from all these games, Australia has evolved her own national brand of football. The Australian National Football Code enjoys a tremendous popularity with competition grand finals attracting as many as 97,000 people. This grand final played in the Melbourne Cricket Ground between Carlton and Essendon illustrates the highlights of the game. It is played on an oval about 180 yards in length and 150 yards wide. The umpire bounces the ball in the centre to start the play and then the 18 men in each team swing into action. With knock-ons and forward play permitted and no offside, the game moves at a fast tempo. When the ball is forced out, boundary umpires throw it back into play. Watch this low skimming foot pass by number 12, which is taken by a teammate who sends the ball to a forward who fails to mark, but recovers quickly and kicks a goal from the scrimmage. A kick between the two inner posts scores six points, and between the outside and inner post is a behind worth one point. The value of speed and non-stop play is illustrated by the Essendon captain Dick Reynolds, as from a scrimmage he scores a goal. A goal is indicated when the official in the white coat waves both flags. They take heavy spills and body clashes in their stride. When running with the ball, players must bounce it every few yards. Players must be able to twist, turn and bolt. Although this Carlton player stumbles, he recovers quickly and, assisted by a teammate with Trevor Shepherding, walks the second opponent and sends the ball downfield. A perfect example of a 30-yard punch pass. High marking and accurate kicking are essential. Number two receives a penalty. Watch him kick to a position where a teammate, number 30, leads out at top speed and takes a well-judged mark from which he's in a position to score a goal. The Premiership is decided by one point, 86 to 85. Beaten by one point, blimey, we was robbed! The players are triumphantly escorted from the field. A great game which has won popularity with the sport-loving public of Australia. <laughs>